Hello there, welcome to ACT Web Space. Today I'm going to show you a demonstration of a dynamic website, how it works, how you can manage your resources, how you can make any changes into your website, create pages or delete or update any existing content in the website. So here we have a demo website. If you see over here, this is a theme. It has a bunch of pages. If you see home page, then about page. Let me show you the website first, about this content. Then there is a service page, which indicates or show all the service of the business. It could be service, product or whatever according to your business. Then FAQ page, that's a kind of optional thing if your business has some frequently asked question. The news is like article pages where you can write your own articles and publish them. So in the similar way, there's one more page contact page. So it's, it's a kind of a seven page website, seven static pages, and you can add unlimited dynamic pages. I'm gonna show you how it works. So in order to uh, go into the admin panel, which is the core feature of this website, you have to put a forward slash, then admin, the name of the website. Then it takes us to the login screen where I'm gonna put the credential of my website. Once you log in, you see an admin panel here. So this is the back end infrastructure which the customers cannot see. Customer can see just the website. This is the back side, back end of the website, which could be accessed by only admin. So let's start from the settings. First of all, if we go to the settings, here we can change the name of the website, the phone number, the email address, billing a website business address and uh, social media links you can put every time you make a change on the website from the back end it shows on the front end for example let me change the phone number as of now for a dummy number and i'm gonna click on publish now what happened wherever we have used the phone number it's gonna change into one dummy number you see over here so it is coming from the database we did change the database entry wherever we did use this entry it changes the number if you see it's on the contact page as well on the top bar as well so we did make one changes and it shows on multiple places because we did use the same entry on multiple places so this is the benefit of using dynamic technology it saves time we don't need to change on multiple places so this is how we could change the number or any website contact details from setting page like uh, you can put your Facebook link, Twitter link, LinkedIn or whatever profile you have, the name of the website, the email address where you're going to get all the inquiries. So one click, make publish, that's done. That was about the contact detail of the website. Now if I come to the next section services you can add unlimited product or service on your website if I click on view services you see uh, I have added like four demo services and we can create unlimited from here whatever service we add from here it shows on the website actual if I come to the uh, service page here we have four services one two three four and every service we call it cards gonna show the picture of the service or product title small description and once you click on more details every service or product would have a unique page so it's a full-size picture that's title that's description as of now for demonstration purpose it's just a small description you can write as long as you want on the right hand side it shows some categories or recent added services as well let's add a service for the demonstration purpose i'm going to click on add service and i'm going to give a title this is a demo service we can take some demo content i have found uh, 
demo content from here so this is short description I'm putting right here and here is the full description now keep in mind short description gonna show in the card if you see on the service page we have the cards right title short description and full description shows on the page of the service single page so I'm gonna copy some more text for a full description and let's paste it over here finally we can pick an image I'll go ahead I have downloaded few images let me pick this one and click on post that is it one service has been posted successfully if we go to our service page it's gonna show on the very first uh, well I guess I have to refresh the page let me refresh it and there you are there it is the service which we just added this is the picture we have added this is the title short description if I click on more details picture title and full description of the service so this is how we can add unlimited post in our website for services and for the news both both work in the exact same way on the right hand side we have added a sidebar where it's going to show the latest added services or maybe in some cases it could be the uh, categories as well so this is pretty simple this is how you can manage your website this section is for blog it works in exact same way you can click on view blog you can edit any blog if you wanted to pre-written blogs make the change click on publish and it's done in the similar way I come to services I see all the five services we have added one more if I wanted to edit it I'm gonna click on edit demo service and let me update the title or you can update anything picture or content click on publish and that is it now if we see on our website the title would have been changed at the last it's gonna be new there you are so this is how it works that's pretty simple and user friendly we can delete this service as well if I go to my service I'm gonna delete that and that's gone this is how it works in a similar way if you want we can add frequently asked question or testimonial so forth and the beauty of this dynamic technology is that on even on the home page we did fetch the same services we have put a restriction maximum three and latest so here it's showing the latest services as well so the entry went to database once and we have shown the entry on the home page and the services page as well you can feel free comment if you have any question uh, thank you for your time goodbye